Helps you poop. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another lovely Pokemon Days. We're out here with a Manectric against the Luminion. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch, uh, but it's not a good idea because he brings in the ground on right off the off the bat. Um which I guess I should have seen coming because the electric move was pretty obvious, but if he was going to let me have the early kill, then uh, I was going to take it. Unfortunately, I need to switch out, uh, obviously, because I don't have anything that can hurt this Groudon. That is a Mega Evolving Manectric, so I wasn't choiced into anything. Unfortunately, the Groudon goes for the Rock Polish, so now he's got the Sun Boosted Overheat and uh, I'm looking pretty scared. I got my Latios in here, but it is not doing much damage at all because this thing's uh, defense is absolutely massive. So I'm Psy shocking the best that I can, but Latios is probably going to eat shit uh, to some, some nasty stone edges. Yeah, Groudon's only like down to half health, so that was a really, really good switch on him, his part. Did help him gain the momentum, and uh, that's one of my big threats gone early in the match, which... Mm. Face palm. A little bit of face palm right there. Primeape can do it. Primeape's gonna bring it back around. He's the fucking man. Uh, the sunlight is also gone, which is extremely fortunate. He also sees probably the ice punch coming or the close combat coming, and he switched into Gallade, which is a pretty good move considering I did go for close combat over ice punch. And uh, he's probably gonna go for the psychic move here. I. I do a little bit more damage with close combat, which probably was also not the play to make. Just basically trying to, uh, yeah, avoid something like this, some substitute shenanigans, free switch shenanigans. So I do keep my primate in here to just uh, keep at it. Unfortunately, he is going to go down to a Zen headbutt, and this is looking like a very, very poor match uh, already. Not good. Not good. So I bring him the Manectric now, I know he's going to switch into the Groudon again, and uh, I do have Hidden Power Ice on this thing, so hopefully that's going to be able to uh, take him down in some way. Unfortunately, uh, he does have part fire type typing, so it's going to be a neutral hit, which is absolutely awful. I'm not going to be able to take another ground attack, um, or even one, so I switch into the Feraligator, which does have Aqua Jet. Uh, it's going to do four times damage against the Groudon, which is extremely good. He's able to take that Earthquake relatively well, too. Uh, and his son goes away as he withdraws his Groudon. Electros is an extremely scary threat against my Feraligator, but with one Dragon Dance up, I know I'll be able to at least punch a hole in that thing. Uh, I'm not sure why my playstyle is so aggressive today, to be completely honest. He predicts a switch, I suppose, and goes for the knockoff. But it doesn't matter, my fucking uh, water, my waterfalls are doing some massive damage. I go for it again, but he switches into the Luminion. What? It has Storm Drain. What? Jesus Christ. So, uh, not a problem. I'll try and get some damage on it with Earthquake because it's about the strongest move that I have. It's Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Earthquake, and Dragon Dance. So I'm not able to do much against this thing. Uh, not able to take it out at least, but... It, it seems like I did punch a pretty good hole in it, aside from uh, letting it get that boost. Oh, it does go down to the life orb. These fucking life orbs, dude. Life orbs everywhere. I hate it. It's it's not an even exchange. Choice items are infinitely better, in my opinion. So now I'm going to reveal that I have the Deoxys, and he goes back into that Groudon, which he's been uh, kind of leaning back on this entire game. And I know if I take it out, boom, with a Psycho Boost, that it's not going to uh, present any more problems to my team. So I do just that. I've still got that Manectric in the back so I can get some uh, some Volt Switch shenanigans and things like that going on. And I bring in the Manectric now. He's got the Intimidate, which doesn't really matter for Klefki, Klefki I guess. Uh, but Foul Play is not going to do much because the Manectric is built specially uh, offensive. So he puts up a Reflect, which probably was not uh, a great thing to do. That Volt Switch does a really gr good amount of damage, a 3 hit KO, uh, but for such low base power, extremely, extremely good. I switch into my last Pokemon, which is a Pyroar, and he switches into his last Pokemon, which is a Delcaddy. So looking at the teams all laid out, I know um, 
probably Electros and Gallade are his big guns, Delcaddy and Klefki are a little bit of a joke. All three of the Pokemon that I have left are extremely hard hitters. He does get a free uh, free turn from the Delcaddy with the fake out, and he goes for the sucker punch there, which I honestly was not expecting. Um, I was considering another move, but I decided to go offensive and get it off the field as fast as possible. Uh, here comes the Gallade. Fortunately, Pyroar is faster than Gallade. I'm able to hit that thing with the Dark Pulse. Shut it down, shut it down. Shut it down, shut it down. And Pyroar is uh, able to take this victory home because all of his Pokebans are low on health and such like that. Which, I really like dissecting my team into like one or two segments, two Pokemon segments that have like kind of good synergy. And then you play off those two and take as many down as you can and then do, do it again for the second set of defenses, and then the third if you have to. But uh, usually if I get down to the last two Pokemon, I lose. <laughs> Luckily that wasn't the case there, still kept half my team alive. Um, I hope to see you in the next battle, friends. I'll see you there. Ah, uh, a nice scream versus Dayton does. So he starts off with a Raikou, and I've got a Jump Pluff. I go ahead and pull off the Sleep Powder, which uh, misses, which is terrible. He has the hidden power ice, very obviously, and that is going to wipe me out. I decide to try the sleep powder again, and it misses for a second time in a row, which uh, I don't like this early. <laughs> I probably should have done something else. I did have seed bomb, acrobatics, uh, things like that, but a little too late. Poor little jump, jump fluff goes down. Here is the Mien Xiao. Uh, I was not expecting the extra centrist extrasensory, although I should really have seen it coming. Uh, I tried to go for the substitute, absolutely fails. Fortunately, the Mian Chao has Regenerator, so I'll be able to switch that out and regain 30% of its health. Um, I bring in my Bronzong now, and he does some nice prediction. Oh no, he goes for extrasensory. And then uh, I think Shadow Ball comes next. I forgot that Ghost can't... Steel doesn't resist ghosts anymore, or something like that. Anyways, um, maybe that's later in the match. <laughs> he brings in a Mandy Buzz while I set up the light screen. He goes for knockoff and knocks off my light clay, but that is okay because the light screen is up for uh, further duration. I'm able to toss a Toxic onto the Mandy Buzz, which will get some nice residual damage on what is otherwise an extremely horrible and tanky Pokemon. Uh, oh, the knockoff. That's what I was confused on. Yeah. So uh, I bring in the Mian Xiao, which is extremely fortunate because he goes for Whirlwind, which means another 30%. That Mian Xiao is basically almost healed back to full health. Extremely fortunate. Uh, Mandy Buzz goes for the Toxic here, which was not the right move because I'm going to Shell Smash in its face. He should have uh, probably kept the Whirlwinds going. I know he's probably going to try and do it now, but it is uh, a little too late. I've got double speed, double special attack as well as Ice Beam sitting in the uh, in the wings. Oh, it is Hydro Pump. This is a Baton Passing Shell Smash, uh, which is an illegal moveset in uh, Smogon's tiers, but I think that's kind of BS. I like that it sometimes pops up on the random battler. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the Baton Pass now because he brought in the Raikou, and I will pass that to Mian Xiao. Mian Xiao! He's going to wreck some shit now. Double attack. Uh, not just double special attack, but double attack, which is extremely freaking crazy. I love Shell Smash. What a game-changing move. Uh, so I go for the knockoff here, knock off that Raikou's life orb, and also knock his head off, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I thought this battle was gonna go poorly from the first few moves. Had me a little bit nervous, but I think we got it now. I think we got it now. I set up a substitute hoping to get some uh, free swords dances up, or at least scouting for his protect, but no, he goes for the double edge, so that means uh, hopefully he doesn't protect on this turn, because Mian Xiao is going to go for the high jump kick. Boom! No protect, no nothing, able to sack that Stantler extremely hard. I probably would have saved it and then switched it back in a couple more times to try and like decrease Mian Xiao's attack stat. Uh, but no, doesn't happen. He brings in the Shaman, which does probably have some air moves. It is a Sky Shaman, and he goes for Air Slash, which uh, finishes my Mian Shell off. But not before he took half 
the opponent's team with him. Fucking great, great play right there. Uh, Bronzong is back in here. He goes for Leech Seed, which is uh, relatively okay because it misses. <laughs> and I go for the Gyro Ball, which is able to do 40% of his health, which is extremely huge. He does get the Leech Seed, but it's not going to matter. The second Gyro Ball is going to kill it off. However, my Bron Bronzong does have some uh, some Seed on it now, which is not good. He's got a Giraffe Rig. He's got a Stantler and a Giraffe Rig. Extremely interesting. Graffer goes for Nasty Plot uh, while I go ahead and set up my light screen, so that basically negates each other as far as I as far as far I can recall. Uh, he's setting up more Nasty Plots in my face, well I'm just gonna go for the Gyro Ball because you're being nasty. Oh, it, it's Toxic. Well, Toxic is relatively fine too, even though the, the Leech Seed is basically gonna negate that. Is he gonna set up another Nasty Plot? No, he goes for Baton Pass. Oh my god, he brings in the Grisselia. <laughs> Grisselia is such a fucking tank. Really, really scared of this thing. Luckily, I think he brought it in a little bit too early, so I'm going to be able to get a second Toxic off on it. Maybe? Yes, I survived the- f Oh no! I get frozen. Jesus Christ. The emotion. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna get the fucking Toxic off on the Cresselia, but unfortunately I was frozen and get killed off by Leech Seed. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, it's fine. Gorbis is back in here. Gorbis has more smell, smell smash? <laughs> Shell smash left in him. And uh, while there is a little defense and special defense drop now because we don't have the White Herb, I think it's going to go relatively well, I hope. Try and get the uh, baton pass up again, pass it off to Empoleon, um, but yeah, with that defense drop, it's going to really, really hurt, even though that Psy Shock is resisted. So I think that I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Go for the Scald on Cresselia, which is good, a little bit of status, but um, Gorbis is not going to be able to make a second Shell Smash. So I'm a little bit worried. I don't want to get shut down by a Garafa rig. Um, but I think that uh, Scyther might be the ace in the hole because Cresselia and Garafa rig are both psychic type. There it is, Choice Banded U-Turn uh, with a Technician Boost. And that is able to sack that Cresselia over 50% of its health. Fucking crazy. Uh, Gorbis back in here just to, uh, <laughs> to look derpy. Fuck. <laughs> Oh man, that Gorbis, I tell you what, we we don't like him. He has the gall to set up a nasty plot boost, well that's fine. Gonna go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump now, uh, not playing any Shell Smash games. I know Scyther's faster and is gonna be able to sack this thing with U-Turn, even if he is faster and will uh, end up getting the Gorbis. So friends, this has been another Pokemon Days. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope that I was able to provide some uh, strategical insight, and I sincerely hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode if you did enjoy. I hope to see you in the next one. If you do remember to like, comment, and or subscribe, I'll send you a granola bar. It's good dietary fiber, helps you poop, and uh, I'll see you then. Until then, friends, Bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.